<laughs> Let's start out with the border wall. We do agree with that. Should we stop trade, stop traffic, close the border between us and Mexico? We don't know what all the answers are, but I wanted to give our audience just kind of an overview on how this is so much like the China negotiations. Yeah, I mean, a billion and a half dollars of trade flows through the border every day. Uh, our economy is 10 times the size of Mexico's economy. That really hurts Mexico if we close the border and, and to trade. And 10 times the size, but even more concentrated with our relationship on trade. So I guess the point I'm trying to make here is, is that nobody likes to upset status quo, hurt business, maybe temporarily hurt stocks, but Mexico pays a much bigger price. Absolutely, like China pays a bigger price with the trade negotiations. They got much more to lose than we do. And, and it's hard for us to talk about it. You gotta get in the shoes of the people on the other side of the table. Right. As for the Fed, our disagreement is what the market's pricing in and how unimportant I think that is. So let's just go to the primary character in this play, the markets. Do you think that if interest rates didn't move for the next six months and the stock market kept appreciating one and a half percent a month, would the next move in that time period be neutral or a tightening? Well, if you put it in those terms, that the stock market of one and a half percent is a 20 percent gain. Now, well, one and a half percent for the next six months, right? Each month, right? All right, that's still 10, right. another 10 or 12 right. percent. Right. Yes, I think that the Fed would lean towards a tightening, but I think that would be a mistake. I think the data's not been good. The earnings are expected to be negative on a year-over-year -year basis. But the it, yield curve but, and the market is pricing But we are weakness. now discounting earnings at a lower rate. We see certain numbers, like today's housing mortgage, uh, ba uh, the mortgage data that was out today. Listen, I know rates going that's down rates, may. That's rates. I get it all, but I guess what I'm saying is things can turn in a more positive way because right now everybody is just coming out of being hyper negative. I think what we're talking about is that the bond market and the stock market are giving you two very different messages right now. Not lately as much, but yes. Yes. We saw something like this in 07. Now that doesn't mean we're going to have an 08, but we see at turns that the bond market and the stock market will have different messages. In 09 we saw this. The bond market was saying things were getting better and the stock market was falling off of cliff and Warren Buffett was calling it an economic Pearl Harbor, but the bond market was telling you it wasn't. So we've seen these kind of... And one thing that's going to get us to maybe closer to agreement, because it's just not happening today, right. is Friday. Now, we know ADP today was on the weak side. I'm not a big fan of paying a whole lot of attention to ADP. But if we go from 20,000 jobs last month to a small revision to last month and a mediocre number, now I think you and I become more on the same page of final thought. Yeah, exactly, because it, you know ADP wasn't good. Continuing claims seemed to be flattening out. Last month's payrolls was not very good. Everybody dismissed it. If it's not revised away with a big bounce, then we've got an issue. You know what we're talking about? Pay attention to real time. Jay Paul gets it. I don't think the president so much.